Hi, it's Vishon Boric here, and this is a really informal video right now. I usually try to kind of put some makeup on and uh, look a little more presentable. I don't have any makeup on. My hair is kind of a mess. It just pulled up. But I wanted to share something with you because it's on my heart, and I feel like it's important to get it out there while it's on my heart. And basically, I was having a conversation with a friend today who really was having a hard time, hard day, has had some really challenging things happen to her in her life. And she was talking to me about how it just seems like one after another, she was having all of these challenges and things that kept happening. And, and uh, she was just very, very distraught and upset. And I listened to her and I'm, you know, being a good friend and being sympathetic. And finally, when there was a break in the conversation, I said to her, I said, you know, I said, I hope this helps you. This is something that I've learned. And I've, I've basically learned that when challenges come into my life, and I've had quite a few challenges, especially recently, but when challenges come into your life, you have three things that should happen. And the quicker you can get through these three things, these three things, the more successful you're going to be in life. So the first thing that happens when something, you know, something undesirable happens to you, I don't like to call it a problem because I see everything as a challenge to be overcome, not a problem. A problem is just like permanent, stuck to you. A challenge is something you overcome. It's an obstacle to get over. So back to my three things. The three things are number one, when something happens to you, it's like this, oh no, oh my goodness. It's that oh no moment that, that happened to you. So that's stage one, you know, it's that shock. The second stage is the lesson. You know, you, you, what's the lesson that you're going to learn? Now, there, you know, most people say in anything there are five stages of grief. I'm just going to skip right to it and just say there's three main points. It doesn't matter what happens to you. There's three main points. There's the oh no. There's the okay. What's the lesson? And then finally, it's the the blessing. This is a blessing that actually happened. You're probably thinking, well, how on earth do I get there? Well, if you look at life through the lens that everything is a lesson that we're here to learn, we're here to learn something, we're here to improve, we're here to, to shape who we are and to help make the world a better place. Ultimately, that's your purpose. If you're wondering what your purpose is, I just gave it to you. Your purpose is to, in some way, make the world a better place. No matter you know, what gifts or skills or talents you have, you were given those gifts to make the world a better place, okay? So if you look at, the, look at life through that lens and you take that, oh no, this is happening to me, and then you really analyze it and you say, you know, what's good about this? And sometimes it's hard, but think about what's good about what just happened. How does this change you for the positive or what positive aspect can you take from the situation? And once you've figured that out, then you've learned the lesson. So now you've got the lesson, that's stage two. Then the third stage is, it's a blessing that it happened. Because now that you learn the lesson and it's become a blessing, you can now improve and evolve yourself as a human being and hopefully help others. Perhaps this happened to you so that one day, you know, a day from now, a year from now, you know, many years from now, you could help someone else who's going through a similar challenge in their life and to help them to see the lesson and then turn it into a blessing. So I want you to start thinking about that. And I think you'll be surprised that you can overcome any obstacle that comes in your life. I don't care if you know you have a problem with your, your spouse, you're arguing or you're, you're having a fight with your kids, or if you've had a fender bender, or if somebody important to you has passed on in your life, or if you lost a family pet, or you know if your house is burnt down, I don't care what the problem is or if you have a terminal illness, I want you to look through it with the lens that this is a lesson to be learned and there's a blessing there too. And once you start seeing that, your life is going to be so much better and you're going to see all the joy that's there and how you can start serving others and living out your true life's purpose. So enjoy your life and I hope you have a good night. Thanks.